When automakers come out with brand new technology, they've got to put it in the hands of consumers. You can test all you want on the proving grounds, but until real world people like you and me get in and drive these things, they really don't know how it's going to perform. Behind me right here is a fuel cell powered Chevrolet Equinox that General Motors is going to make available to people to be able to drive. A very select group of people. But I happen to be one of the first of the media getting in a chance to drive this. So come on with me. Let's go through the streets of Los Angeles and find out what it's like to drive a fuel cell car. The most amazing thing about driving this Equinox fuel cell vehicle is if they didn't tell me there was a fuel cell in here, I probably couldn't tell the difference. It's no different driving this from an internal combustion engine, but there is a couple of differences really. Number one is no engine noise. I mean, this thing's really quiet. A little bit of gear whine maybe, but that's about it. The other thing you notice is as soon as you touch the accelerator, this thing gets up and goes. That's the advantage of having an electric motor. You have instant torque on this thing. You don't have to wait for the engine to wind up. One of the other things that impresses me about this fuel cell vehicle is the temperature gauge shows it's 89 degrees out here on the streets of Los Angeles and yet it doesn't seem to be affecting the fuel cell one iota. We've got the air conditioning running full blast and that doesn't seem to take any power or acceleration away from this vehicle either and that's pretty impressive in my book. It's really interesting driving this fuel cell vehicle in stop and go traffic. I, you don't hear any or feel any downshifts of the transmission at all, it just sort of collides to a stop. We've got regenerative braking. I, I love the fact that I can jam on the brakes and know that I'm recharging the batteries at the same time. It, it's kind of like driving a hybrid, but, but not quite the same. I'm, I'm not sure the difference that I'm feeling here, except that this thing is awfully quiet. <laughs> 